Hello and praise the Lord, brethren. My name is Henry Mboro from Thrives Katal. I'm thankful to God for yet another day He has given us to share His word. That is coming from the book of Jeremiah 31, from 33 to 34. I'm using NLT. And I read, But this is the new covenant I will make with the people of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my instructions deep within them, and I will write them on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people. 34. And they will not need to teach their neighbors, nor will they need to teach their relatives, saying, You should know the Lord, for everyone from the least to the greatest will know me already, says the Lord. And I will forgive their wickedness, and I will never again remember their sins. So, if you can look from verse 31, you will see that this is a prophecy by Jeremiah, whereby he says that God will make a new covenant. God says that in the near future, he will make a new covenant. This would be the first covenant with Israel. And it's a different one from the one he made with Israel in Sinai. Israel could not and did not keep the covenant that God made with them, because they even broke it. The new covenant will bring transformation. In the, in the old covenant, the law of God was external. But the new covenant, the law will be put in the hearts of people. And the transformation of God is for those who are connected to Him through the New Covenant. The New Covenant brings a new relationship with God. With the New Covenant, we have a personal relationship with God unlike previous, unlike the previous Covenant. The New Covenant came to pass at the Calvary. It's from there where faith and spirit, spirituality was made real for mankind. Anyone who submits himself with an open heart to Christ our Lord and Savior would receive forgiveness. The new covenant brings about the true cleansing of sins. The old covenant was only covering sin. The new one brings a complete forgiveness and restoration to God and a promise where our sins are no longer remembered. That's the word of God. May God bless us all.